After watching the fifth episode of Onimai, were you wondering what this was about? Or what a truant officer was? Or what was used in Japanese for things like instoworthy? Well, in this video, I'll be explaining the meaning and origin behind those kind of things about the Japanese culture and language that appeared in this episode. I'll be going in chronological order, so let's start with a simple one at the beginning of the episode. The writing on the t-shirt of Mahiro is most likely onaka, stomach, often used when saying that you are hungry or full. Onaka suita, onaka ippai. What Mahiro used to talk about his fave anime was oshi. This term comes from the verb osu, to recommend, to support. This is something that is really popular in the Japanese otaku culture, and lately it has even started to become used directly by Western fans, especially within the circles of VTubers that has really exploded in the last couple years. It's also in the title of a really popular manga that is getting an anime adaptation this spring, Oshinoko, which I will probably be covering on my channel, so you know what to do if you want to have more chance seeing my uploads when the time comes. At first, this term started to really being used as Oshimen in the 80s with the idol industry boom to talk about which member of an idol group that you were supporting wishing success for. But it's with the big rise of popularity of AKB48 in the mid 2000s that it started to become seen outside of hardcore fan circles and even used on television in AKB48 Senbatsu General Election. In 2011, the word Oshimen was nominated for the New and Popular Ward Award of the yearly contest held by a correspondence education publisher, Yuken. But it took until 2019 for the word to be added to an official Japanese dictionary in the Daijilin. In 2021, the Mainichi newspaper company conducted a survey where the majority of people said that they were using the word Oshi and adding those to the amount of people that responded that they knew the meaning, but didn't use it, it reached 96%. Those that have watched Demon Slayer might already be a little familiar with this one, but some might have been confused at the scene where Mihali makes some sparks with a flint and steel when Mahilo was about to leave the house. This is part of a purification ceremony used to protect someone from evils and bring them good luck. Its oldest mention in an historical record is from the year 712. The reason behind that gesture has to do with the ancestral knowledge that fire is something that creatures are afraid of and can be used to repel them. Sparks are seen as the birth of a fire and thus at its purest state, so at its most effective point to protect someone. This little ceremony is also usually done toward the back of the person that you want to protect and above their right shoulder. The sources that I found wasn't really sure of the exact reason for that, but in Japanese culture there's the expression migi kata agari, with a literal sense of right shoulder and rise, which means growing or expanding like in a graph, and can be used to talk about rising your luck. When Mahiro is getting into the area of the arcade with the photo booths and getting a rush, the Japanese expression used was Haitokukan, an expression to express having a feeling of a guilty pleasure, doing something that isn't necessarily bad, but that you probably shouldn't do. It comes from a feeling of a guilty conscience with someone turning their back to the ideal path of morals. Bonus trivia? The popular Japanese photo booms are called Bulikula in Japanese, and it's coming from an abbreviation of Rim Club. The Japanese expression that was used to talk about Mahiro's photo being instaworthy was Bai. This comes from the verb Hailu, to shine, to look attractive. It got really popular when people started to say that a photo was Insta Bai, that is gonna shine on Instagram. In 2017, it even won the yearly New and Popular World Award. Random bonus trivia, that same year, Chris Broad from the Abroad in Japan YouTube channel 
received a top 10 award for the expression J Alato. The original term used to refer to the disparate types that Mahito was thinking about the person behind him at the arcade was the Aichu, meeting freak. It is usually referring to someone that sends insistent messages to people for meeting in person. The Chu part of this expression is often used to talk about a troll on the internet and can also be used to write Chu Nibyo. This is actually a kanji to refer to a kitchen, like in Chubo, but was used on the internet to make a play on having the same pronunciation as Chubo, an abbreviation from Chugakseno Boya, a young boy student from middle school, to talk about someone who is saying things on the internet like if they were an annoying kid. What was written on the armband of the guy at the arcade was Odoin, a guidance member or employee. They are volunteer citizen appointed by the end of a police station or by the Public Safety Commission to patrol an area to look out for early signs of juvenile delinquent activities and offer guidance to children to prevent them from becoming delinquent or future criminals. When Mihari tries to comfort Mahiru after his incident at the arcade and says that they will be right back where they started, she uses an expression that is derived from an historical event, Moto no Mokuami. In a literal sense, it could be translated into the previous state of Mokuami. Mokuami was the name of a blind monk that was used as a double to cover the death of the warlord of the province of Yamato in the year 1550 of the Sengoku era. Since the heir of the warlord was only two years old at that time, the news of the death could have easily stirred up things and made surrounding enemies attack them, with Japan being really divided in that period of time. So they decided to get a double to save some time waiting for the son to grow up and take his father's position. When that time came, Mokuami was no longer needed and was sent back to becoming a monk, hence the previous state of Mokuami, ending up right back where one started. The Japanese expression when talking badly behind someone's back, like what Mahiro thought that Mihari did, is Kageguchi, literally shadow's mount, giving the image of talking in the shadows. What Mihari uses to describe Mahiro being a freeloader, a good for nothing on the couch, was Kokutsubushi, and comes in a literal sense as someone who is just wasting grains, which is a source for a lot of food. That's all I have for this episode, and you know what to do if you want me to continue the series, and if you like the type of videos, you could go check out one of the other anime that I covered. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.